today's video we're going to be breaking down uh, the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. We're going to be giving you a nice base play uh, to come out in every play and get a really nice continuity to your flow. Um, what we're talking about this week uh, in Indianapolis, we're going to use a kind of a combination of a couple things. First and foremost, um, the base formation is going to come to us, and it's our actual three-headed rushing attack. And so uh, what we're going to do, um, instead of breaking down the the three-headed rushing tech, because that's our base. Uh, we're going to break down a little X-Factor play for you from the Colts playbook. Um, and we're just going to show you this. We'll just come out in our nickel package, because that's what you'll probably face. And we'll come out in a cover four, so we can show you all the coverages. But the base play from this uh, Y trips halfback week. Um, and what I want to do is I just want to break down a passing play. Now the wipe trips is our base formation. It's also our three-headed rushing attack. We come out in the shovel option every play, but what I want to do is I want to show you our main passing play uh, from this. So the main passing play that we like to use um, from this set is we like to use to play PA read. I really like this play. I think it does some really good things for us. And uh, let's hop into the breakdown. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make a couple of adjustments. First thing you want to do is you want to put uh, Woods here on uh, this right slot receiver on a hitch route. And then you want to take Shady McCoy. What I like to do is place him on a streak. And then I like to motion him to the right side of the screen. Um, your first read is going to be Charles Clay. And we're going to show you this first against man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to see that Charles Clay does a good job at getting nice separation. We like to use a nice lob pass to get him uh, some really good uh, openings against the man-to-man -man defense. This route uh, is probably going to be your money route when we talk about man-to-man -man coverage. Next route I want to show you is this route to Ricky Woods. You'll see it's unbumpable. Quick throw at the snap. We like to use a low pass lead. It does a nice job uh, at beating man as well. And so if you see that that's open, I would recommend using that and abusing that until they stop it. Um, third read on this play is this nice out route to Sammy Watkins. We like to uh, just throw it when he breaks to the outside. Against man-to-man -man coverage this year, uh, the out routes are still uh, you know, in effect. Um, we'll show you this a couple times here to see how consistent it is. It's not as good as it's been in years past. Man, some of the block shed, this practice mode is ridiculous. Like, I don't even... Like, I was playing a game in Mutt earlier today, and literally, like, my line just got destroyed. Like, when we talk block shed, like, it was like the freaking Raiders just freaking shamed my offensive line. But anyway, uh, I just want to show you this route as it develops. You see, Tyra Taylor really can't make that throw. Um, and really, the only reason that out route's there is just because we don't need it. Um, but what we're going to see here is if they send like a blitz, like if they're setting up like a blitz, and what we'll show you, and that's what you'll see with this offense, is that you're going to get a lot of blitzes off this edge. I'm just going to let you know that. Um, and this out route, what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to allow you to beat the blitz quick to the outside. So that's really the only reason it's in the play. It's not really in there to beat man. Okay, so but that's really all the routes we're going to have that's going to be able to beat man to man. Uh, now I want to take a look at the zone, uh, and so we'll just show you a cover three basic zone. We don't want to go through all of them today. Just want to show you a basic zone. Um, you're going to notice that your first read here to Clay um, is open real underneath, but what you'll see is the more that you throw this route, the more they're going to try to user it, take it away. So just know that it probably won't be there, especially when you're facing zone, because it normally guys will use her the middle of the field. So just understand that you're going to need to be able to read it. Your second read is probably what's most frequently going to be open against zone. It's this little hitch pattern to Woods. Now if they're usering over there, obviously it's important to notice their user control is over there, and so then I would recommend going like the clay or waiting to hit your third read on this route which is this running back route now, as you see here against the cover three it's not really an option but what's going to happen is the more they use her they're going to start to use her control and try to use her to defend uh, Robert Woods's route and what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit LaShawn Sh La Shady McCoy uh, up the seam there and then finally um, like I said your uh, out route is probably not going to be open against zone defense. I mean, it may be open for a second or two here. We'll take a look at it. You see that it's going to get you know pretty well covered against the cover three, um, and most zones will cover that, and most mans will cover that if they don't blitz anybody. That uh, that route's mainly there for if they want to try to send pressure. And then this deep post route to Harvin. Um, this is a nice play. We like to. Uh, it's a it's a little difficult of a pass. Um, 
I haven't had many, much success with it. I don't normally get to it, to be honest. I mean, normally I'm hitting this underneath route. But the, the main thing that you want to remember when you're throwing these post routes this year is you want to use the high pass lead, uh, and you want to cut them off. You want to cut them off and make a nice user catch. And there you see that's what we're wanting to do. Uh, we're wanting to make nice user catches over the middle of the field with these post routes this year. I don't really find a whole lot of value in pass leading them to the inside anymore. Um, you know, like we did in years past, because it, what you're seeing is you see that they kind of, he kind of pulls him to the inside a little too much, and uh, so that's why I don't like to do it. What I like to do is I like to just throw a high pass lead by holding L1, and uh, when he cuts, so L1 cuts to the inside, throw that high pass lead, click on, make that user catch in between uh, the safeties. That's what you're really looking to do, um, and we'll just show you uh, again one more time here. But I said, normally you won't get to this route. This is kind of in a one-on-one -on -one scenario if they kind of really go underneath. Um, and it's it's hard to show. I mean, like I said, I don't throw this route. I've probably never. I've thrown it one time, I think, uh, in using this play. Normally you're going to be able to work the underneath game. But just step up in the pocket, make a nice high pass lead, and let Harvin go up and make a play. That's really what we're looking to do. So... But that's really the uh, the main kind of thing I wanted to go over today, just this passing play. And uh, we'll show you the running stuff later on in the week. But this is the base formation uh, from the Indianapolis Offensive Playbook, the Shotgun Y Trips Halfback Week. Um, if you like thing breakdowns like this, you can check out our offensive guide below. It's pretty inexpensive. gives you a little bit more detail. Um, and it's actually from a different playbook. But in my opinion, the Arizona Playbook is probably the best book this year offensively. So you can check that out. But until next time... Until next time, guys, leave a comment if you have any questions.